Have you been noticing that on all your favorite social media apps like Facebook and WhatsApp and Instagram, there's this Ask Meta AI button everywhere? Well, Meta has officially joined the AI race and they're saying that their AI is revolutionizing everything. But is that really true? We're gonna find out. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I've been studying and playing around with all the different AI chatbot tools out there. And today we're gonna go over one of the most powerful ones that you have access to for free and it's with you wherever you go. So what is Meta AI? Think of this as your personal virtual assistant, right? So it can help you handle things that you don't have time for, like customer support and content creation, data analysis, copywriting. It literally feels like it should be illegal to know because it is one of the most intelligent AI assistants that you can use for free. And it's also gonna help you cut down on your workload. If you're a WhatsApp, a Facebook, or an Instagram user, which, come on, you probably are, you've probably seen Ask Meta AI all over the platforms. And all of these apps are owned by Meta. So this means that you get a seamless integration with all of these apps. I'm gonna show you just how cool this is and what you can do with it later in the video, so make sure to stick around. And if you don't have these apps, no problem. You can still access the chatbot on the web at meta.ai. So this looks similar to other chatbots on the web. You have your saved chats over here. You have a couple prompt examples to help you get started right here. And you can insert your prompt down here. So what's the magic behind Meta AI? So this is built on something called Llama. Llama? Llama? Llama 3. Tomato, tomato. Llama is a powerful open source large language model developed by Meta. Let's break this down. Llama is a type of AI that's trained on a massive library of text from various sources. So this allows it to understand and generate language like a human. So like it can answer questions, it can generate content, it can even create images. Llama is the backbone of Meta AI, which allows it to have these super impressive functions and features. So there are two main reasons why Llama is different from other large language models like ChatGPT and Google Gemini. Number one is its training. So have you ever wondered how AI models learn to understand human language? It works with these things called tokens, which is like a word or a punctuation mark or a symbol. So think of this like building with a Lego. Each Lego brick represents a single token, and the more Lego bricks you have or the more tokens you have, the more complex structures you can build. And get this, at the time of recording this video, Llama has 15 trillion Lego bricks to play with. To put that into perspective, ChatGPT has 1.5 trillion bricks. So this means that Llama can grasp language nuances better and respond more accurately, building more complex answers. Number two is its parameters. So this is essentially the settings that fine tune Llama's performance. So Llama has 70 billion parameters, while ChatGPT has 175 billion. At first I was confused because I was like, wouldn't more parameters be better? But from my research, fewer parameters actually make Llama more efficient, faster, and accessible. Think of a recipe. More ingredients can add complexity and flavor, but also increase costs and preparation time. More parameters in an AI tool can enhance performance, but also requires more resources and energy. So Llama has taken a thoughtfully more balanced approach, making it a practical choice for people like you and me who just wanna get stuff done. Now, speaking of getting stuff done, let me show you how to use it. If you wanna access Meta AI on Meta-based apps, here's how you can do it on each app. In Messenger apps like WhatsApp, Messenger, and Instagram Messenger, type the at symbol, and you can actually tag Meta AI directly in your chat to ask it a question. Okay, so why would you use this in chats? Well, say you're planning a meetup with your colleague over Instagram. You can tag Meta AI directly in that chat and say, what are some good professional places to meet for coffee in Toronto? And you're gonna get a bunch of suggestions right there in the chat. You'll also have access to Meta AI in Facebook search. Let's say you're trying to network with other e-commerce brands. You'll see in the search bar, it says ask Meta AI. So you would just type in best e-commerce Facebook groups. A chat will open up with Meta AI and you're gonna get suggestions and links to join those groups right in front of you. You can also access Meta AI when you're scrolling through your Facebook feed. So let's say you come across a post that you're super interested in. You can just press the ask Meta AI for more info right from the post. Having Meta AI is like having that like know-it-all friend beside you at all times. Now what's really neat about Meta AI is that you can generate images. 
yes, that's cool, but you can actually generate these in real time. So this is called Meta AI's Imagine feature. So for example, you have a Shopify store selling Halloween costumes for dogs. Maybe you want something funny to create to post on your socials. When you start a prompt with Imagine, Meta AI will begin generating an image as you type. You can change that image based on the wording you use in the text. Every letter you add or remove modifies the image in real time. So there's no waiting time like on Mid Journey, for example. Once your image is generated, you can select it and animate it with this animate button. Honestly, if this GIF isn't your favorite thing that you've seen on the internet today, you're watching the wrong type of content. You can also use this feature in the meta-based messenger apps by typing at, and then you'll see this imagine feature pop up. It's pretty cool. If you wanna learn how to prompt engineer for text to image AI tools, Rachel has a great video for you that I will link in the description. So now that we've unlocked the secrets of meta AI and I've shown you a little bit about what it can do, I'm curious. Are you as excited as I am about the possibilities? Let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up if you're liking it so far. And if you wanna stay ahead of the curve when it comes to using AI and other game-changing tools to grow your business, make sure to subscribe to this channel, learn with Shopify, and watch our other videos. We have this huge library of hundreds of long and short videos, and this is an official Shopify-powered channel. We're all about empowering entrepreneurs like you to succeed. We've got a ton of valuable insights and tips to share, so welcome to the fam. Now you know how to access Meta AI, so let's go through some more practical ways that you can use it. I'm gonna demonstrate these on the web version, but remember that you can access it in any of the apps. So well, let's talk about copywriting. It takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy and brain power, but not when you know how to use AI. Meta AI can help with creative writing tasks like product descriptions or blog posts and social media content. For example, you can ask Meta AI to generate a blog post for a recent update in your industry. Meta AI is connected to the internet powered by Bing, so it has access to real-time data. So let's say you wanna write a blog post about the latest trends in sustainable packaging. I'm gonna enter this prompt. Write me an SEO blog post on the current trends in sustainable packaging, focusing on how sustainability can help a business with longevity. Meta AI will create a well-structured and engaging search engine optimized blog post to help with value content and discoverability. I can literally just copy and paste that to my blog. It's easy, I love it. And if I wanted to turn it into an email newsletter, I would just say, turn it into an email newsletter to inform my existing customers about our recent switch to eco-friendly packaging. There is so much good stuff here. And remember, this is just like a conversation. So if you wanna tweak it, you can just ask, make it shorter and more conversational, boom. Have you ever tried to write an ad and you're just stuck? Well, try this. Insert your Shopify product page link and say, I want to create an ad for my new hot sauce flavor, Sorta Sizzlin'. Scan this product page and generate five meta ad ideas. Well, that is pretty sweet, right? If you wanna learn more about setting up meta ads, I'm gonna link a full tutorial for you in the description that you can watch next. Do you wanna get on your top competitor's level in a fraction of the time? For example, if I have this hot sauce business and I wanna know how to make my website top notch, I'm just gonna to go to Frank's Red Hot website, copy the URL, paste it into Meta AI, and say, pull actionable product feature ideas from this website that I can replicate on mine. Or compare my website to the Frank's Red Hot website and let me know where I'm doing well and where I can improve. Here's my website, and then paste your website link. Now you have some expert insights on how to improve your site based on a leading brand in your industry. Keeping up with the trends is crucial to stay ahead of the game. Meta AI can help with research tasks like finding relevant data or statistics or even trends. So you can ask it questions like, what are the current trends in e-commerce? Or what is the average order value for e-commerce stores in the food industry? Now, what I really like about Meta AI is that there's this view sources button, so you can see where the data was found and make sure it's relevant. Building your brand voice is essential. So let's say we wanna create a personalized email campaign for our customers who have purchased hoodies from our store. We can ask Meta AI to generate email content based on their purchase history and preferences. For example, I'll use the prompt, generate an email for customers who have bought hoodies in the past six months recommending products like jeans or jackets. 
There you go. Just copy and paste that into your email marketing software, which by the way, you can do directly on Shopify. You would need the Shopify email app add-on, and then you're ready to build those personalized relationships with your customers. Alrighty, so we've gone over some of the things that you can do with Meta AI, but here are four things to consider to guarantee that you are gonna get the best responses. The more specific you are with your prompts, the better results you're gonna get. Try to ask targeted questions or provide really clear context. You can tweak your prompts if needed and add additional context as you go for better responses. You'll also wanna use natural language and talk to Meta AI like a human. This isn't only easier for you, but it's also easier for it to understand you. You don't wanna be afraid to try different phrasings or different approaches to get the results that you want because it's all about experimentation. It's also important to fact check and verify data. AI isn't perfect yet. So use that view sources button that I showed you earlier. This button is gonna show you where Meta AI got its information from, and then you can go ahead and double check your info. Now I've seen some people online commenting about getting vague or irrelevant responses from Meta AI. This all comes down to your prompting technique because let me tell you, if you don't know how to properly prompt AI, you're just wasting your time. So if you wanna learn more about prompting for AI, we've created a four-part masterclass on prompt engineering, covering how to properly prompt AI to achieve specific results. I'm gonna link those videos for you in the description. Just like AI is changing so fast, so is the world. If you wanna make it part of your job to keep up with the trends in the evolving digital landscape, have you considered starting something to earn some extra money? Consider starting an e-commerce store on Shopify. It's a super simple way to get started with selling things online. You can accept payments, you can get funds deposited directly into your bank account after just two to three business days. It's super easy. So I'm gonna leave a free trial link for you in the description so you can try out Shopify for free and start moving yourself into the digital commerce world so you don't get left behind. So the question was, is Meta AI revolutionizing everything? Maybe, maybe not, but in my personal opinion, it's not this crazy technology that it's built on that's revolutionary. It's the fact that it's built into these apps that you and me use every single day. So sooner or later, hundreds of thousands of millions of people are gonna start playing around with it. So it better be you before you get left behind. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.